Hey guys, my name is Sarah. I'm a new Airstream owner and today I am learning how to back my rig up. Should be interesting. <laughs> First things first, I have to make sure on the inside that everything is stowed properly, latched, locked, and secure. Not only am I learning how to back up today, but I also plan on taking the Airstream to get it weighed and practice towing on the highway. Therefore, I have to properly prepare the trailer inside and out to be towed. This is great practice for me and feels as if I'm breaking down camp and heading to my next destination. I'll include my checklist in the description below for anyone who's curious about this process. Okay, let's move on to the outside. Note to self, don't put your face so close when you're disconnecting from water. After a ton of research, I decided to go with WaySafe for my weight distribution hitch. My first time towing, I drove almost 600 miles over two days. The interstate was windy, steep, and full of semi-trucks. I kept it slow, so many large trucks were passing me, and I did not feel a bit of sway. If you're in the market for a good anti-sway weight distribution hitch, I highly recommend WaySafe. It is on the pricier side, but you can save 15% with my discount code in the description below. Towing with a good quality hitch is a worthwhile investment, and I think it's definitely worth the money. Okay, I have a backup camera, but I'm trying to learn without it. I want to go that way, I'm gonna turn it this way. Okay. I'm gonna just follow it as I have been informed to do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm close to the cone. <laughs> oh, okay. Now what? <laughs> I'm just gonna go forward. And maybe I'll just straighten out and back up. And I think the trailer will continue to turn. But I am gonna go straight. Boom, right in the cones. As I'm sure many of you know, when backing up a trailer, you have to turn your steering wheel in the opposite direction that you want the trailer to go. A common trick is to hold the bottom of the steering wheel and turn it in the same direction that you want the trailer to go. This works, but it felt very unnatural to me. So after practicing both ways, I decided to stick with my hands at the top of the steering wheel. Now that I have everything I own in the Airstream, I'm really eager to see how much it actually weighs. My neighbor so graciously agreed to come with me because this is a little nerve wracking, but he knows the people who work here, so yay! Oopsies. Here we got to take this off. So we took off the sway bars and raised up the tongue jack a little bit. 
so to get a very accurate weight. <gasps> no way, 47.50? So you have space still. 47.50, yes! And my black tank is 30% full. And the towing capacity of my Jeep is 6,200. The max weight of my Caravelle is 5,000 pounds, meaning I still have 250 pounds of wiggle room. Although I do hope to lighten up that load a little bit more. All right, we're taking this baby on the highway for funsies. This is gonna be a great test to see what belongings have shifted around and possibly broken or bursted because this highway is terrible. <laughs> Okay, last and final backup practice. I'm going to be moving into my new spot. See how it goes. Arrow is now in her new spot. She was sitting stagnant for a few weeks and the next time I bring her out will be to Big Sur. So I'm really happy I got the chance to take her out today. I got to practice hitching up. I got to practice towing. I got to learn how to back up. I'm obviously not a pro at it whatsoever, but it went better than expected. So at least when I pull up to my campsite and I attempt to back in, I will somewhat know what I'm doing. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.